going to put a that be? Less than perfect. And the last one, I think you guys all know this one. What about number line? 
what? Can you use number line to compare fractions? Yeah. yeah. What about fraction tiles? Yeah, I think so too. Okay, so we're gonna let's do let's do a fraction tile. So two sticks. I'm gonna draw two sticks right here to make sure you guys are all drawn in this. You're gonna draw two rectangles that are in this. I'm not, I'm not a really art a good artist, so just pretending we're exactly equal. So try to do that to the best of your ability to do two rectangles that are almost exactly the same. Okay. So for three fourths, I'm gonna do four. Let's do the six. So I'm gonna draw six equal parts. So one, two, three, four, five. Six equal parts. That's going to be for the three fourths. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Do you see that? And for the three fourths, what we'll do is right here. Okay, and I'm going to shade in the two out of six. So I'm going to get a different color. You can shade it a little bit differently. And so for the two six, I'm going to shade it in so with your pencil drawn in just a little like this. So one, two. And then there's six parts still. And for the three fourths, I'm going to shade in three different parts. So one, two, three. So comparing these two ones, which one do you think is bigger? The two six or the three fourths? Compared to how much is shade? Raise your hand. It's all right. Two six, you think that there's more shade in here? Compared to this one? Three fourths. Okay, perfect. So three fourths is greater. So how would we say this? Can someone say how would how would we say this a sentence? Johnny? Less than? Less than? So say it all together. So what is this? Two six is how would you say? It? So two six is less than. Less than three fourths. Perfect. So two six is less than three fourths. Perfect. So I'm going to do the next fraction, and you guys can do this by yourself. So write this on your paper, and I'm going to be walking around and trying to do it by yourself. Make sure we're not talking. I'm going to show you right now. So the next fraction is going to be 3, 6, and we're going to compare it to 1 and half. Make sure you guys are either drawing your fraction tiles, you can do different pictures of circles or number line. Whatever you want. I'm going to be walking around for about one, 1 minute or so, and then Make sure you're doing the comparison with the symbol in the middle as well.
want you to go in to make sure you get the book here and then make sure you get the symbol in between those two fractions as well. So that's the first one. Can you do the second one too? And draw the second one right underneath it. Do it right underneath it so can Okay, so she put 3 6 is less than 1 half with her picture. Does anyone have something different that they got? Uh, Bernie, what did you get that was different? You have a circle? Okay. So um, did you get a different symbol or did you get the same? What did you get? You messed up? Did anyone get anything different? Selene? I got three six. Three six? So you think three six is bigger? Yeah. Okay, did anyone get anything other than is three six bigger? Three. Yeah? Okay, so I'm gonna show you what did any get anything different before I go on. Everyone got did anyone get it was equal to? That's fine, you got it was equal to? Okay, so I'm gonna do my picture. So when you're going, you wanna make sure your fraction bar, or we can even do circles this time. So that might be you wanna make sure your circles are like pretty close in size, okay? So this one's gonna be three six. So I'm gonna cut it in half. And this one. So this is gonna be one half for this one, right there. And then for the second one, I would cut it in half again, and it'd be like this. So one half is circled right there, shade it, and for the second one, it's gonna be three six. So one, two, three. Does one have more shade than the other? Mm. Kaylin? Is one shade more than the other? Which one? You think so? Nathan, what do you think? Is one shade more than the other? Mm. Nathan? No? What do you think they are then? Mariah, what do you think they are? You think your 3-6 has more? Okay, so let's do a fraction bar just to see one more time, okay? So we're doing the fraction bar. And make sure they're as close as possible, okay? So I'm going to do, so the first one's 3-6, so it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this one's going to be the half, okay? We're going to shade in real quick right here. So 3, 1, 2, 3, and this one is half. And the line right here, they're equal to like that. So, do you still think one's bigger than the other, Stephanie? No. No. So, what do you what is going to be in the middle of this? What what symbol? The greater than, less than, or equal to? Which one? Greater than. Greater than. What about so if these equal the same amount? What do you think? What symbol would we use? Mariah? Equal to. Equal to. Yeah. So look, you guys see how these are exactly the same, and one doesn't have more than the other. Does that make sense? Okay. So you do the equal sign. So make sure if you have to switch your picture. And then we do switch your picture and make sure you have that equal sign. Okay? So we're going to do one more by yourself, then we're going to go on. So it's going to be a different one. We'll go right here. The next one is going to be 5, 6, and 3, 6. So make sure you're drawing that picture and make sure if you're doing the fraction bar or the circle, try to do it as close as possible. So 5, 6 over 3, 6. So I'll give you about a minute to go and then bring something right there. So start drawing that out and you're going to have to answer with it as well. Mm -hmm. 